Okay, this is part four of the Hot Point uh, 1950s television or 1960s, I don't remember at this point. So I'm dealing with a couple final problems. It's working okay as you saw at the end of part three, but the contrast control is bad, which is a 600 ohm pot. Uh, all they had was 1000 ohms. It should work fine the way it is in the circuit. The other thing I'm dealing with is this inductor. Now I had ordered, this is, the schematic calls this a 5.6 microhenry and it spells out 5.6 microhenries. And I ordered some 5.6 microhenry coils. I verified them. Um, the DC resistance, which really doesn't matter because these things also have a current rating, so you can have one with thicker wire that's the same inductance, but the DC resistance would measure different. But the DC resistance and the approximate size of the ones that I ordered was about the same, which are those there. And well, it didn't work. I had this kind of fuzzy, almost like high speed vibration of the picture, and when I bypassed it with a wire, we had that nice picture. And you can see there where I bypassed it with the jumper wire. I intentionally left the leads a little bit long in case there was a problem. Now this jumper wire is not a short. It's going to offer some inductance, at least I would think, at least a little bit. So I went to my local electronics store today and I came home with these. Um, and looking at this, this is green, blue, silver. And this little tiny one here is also green, blue, silver. That is a 0.56. And this one here, which is looks like uh, gray, sil gray, blue, gold, green, silver, that is a 5.6. I don't know, I'm confused. We also had in here a 2.2. And so I grabbed a 2.2 and a 0.22. I'm not quite sure how to read these. This is something new to me. So measuring the, the 0.56, it's essentially a short. Measuring the 5.6, it's also a short. I can't get an eye opening on any of these little, little tiny ones that I got from my local guy. They all measure zero ohms, but yet they were properly labeled and they got the proper color codes. I can't get any eye openings. I can get the eye to open right on 5.6 with these ones. So I don't know where to go with this. Do I pull the do I pull my set apart and pull the inductor out of it and try and compare or measure? I'm just a little bit uh, I'm a little bit perplexed as to what to do with this inductor situation. I wouldn't think that with a set that cheap they would put it in there unless it was absolutely needed. So I want to try and figure this out and fix it that way I understand it that's the goal here there's there's no way to compensate all this time except the learning experience but yeah I can't get it I can't get an eye on any of these okay I checked on this is another this is a different military bridge this one is very accurate but much more complicated to use and I checked it I checked uh, this inductor on this one again, right on, and I checked this inductor again, I can't get anything. This one's measuring like a short. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe this unit is checking these at a thousand hertz. That's what, one kilohertz is what it's measuring the inductance as, at. Now I don't know 
if this is measured maybe at one megahertz and this at one kilohertz, I don't know. Uh, I need to work on some other methods of measurement and I think what I'm going to have to do is pull my set out, unfortunately, pull the chassis out, pull the inductor out and see if I can get a comparison because I just don't know. This is some totally untouched territory to me and uh, I'm looking forward to learning about how it works. Okay, this is the chassis out of one of my GE versions of this hot point set. And I'm going to pull this one out. It measures 11 ohms in circuit. Something else I notice here, you can see this is all original. All the original wax and electrolytics, everything is original. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that out. It measures 11 ohms in circuit. We'll also measure the diode in this one. This set is slightly different. Slightly different. Okay, I have to admit I don't have a valid way of verifying or testing this. This is green, blue, silver. This is green, blue, silver. This is whatever. This was supposed to be the same value as this based on the SAMs. This is a 5.6. That's a 5.6. That's a .56. This has the same color code as this. On the ring tester on this, this measures like three rings, this measures zero rings, and this measures ten rings. I don't know. On this, I can't get an eye opening with any of them. So, uh, there must be different frequency sets. This diode in this one measures uh, 300 millivolts one way, open the other way, so the one in the hot point is definitely different. This set is a bit different. You can see this does not even have the phase detector diode right there. There's a lot of little differences with this set and the other one. It doesn't have the 2.2. Maybe what I should do is I should look up the SAMs for this and um, see what it calls out. All right, let's take a look at this one first. So that would be a military style silver and then green gold. Gold is a decimal point. Um, so that is a 5.6. See, this is a 6.8. So. Silver, blue, gold would be the dot, and then gray would be eight. If we go over here and we look at the GE series peaking coil, four ohms. On the other one, it was like 12 ohms, and it measures 11. And over here, it says 5.6 microhenries. I don't know. Okay, here's the new pot. You can see the shaft is longer and different. I'm just gonna use this to whack it off, just get it about the same length. It's not highly critical. All right, there it is. The only difference is this is a 1,000 ohm and this one is 600 ohm. They didn't have 600 or 500 ohm. It's not going to matter. Usually you just leave the contrast turned all the way up anyway. All it does is it grounds the, um, it, pulls, it pulls the cathode of the video output tube to ground. Has this video gone on long enough yet? Alright, here's what I've done. The pot has been installed. Uh, then what I did is I removed the coil off the back here and I just soldered two wires there and I have two wires coming out so that I can hook it up, put it all together and try the different coils in the television and see which one works the best. All right, according to this book, what those peaking coils do is they basically amplify the high frequency response of the video IF signal they help improve it so what I did was I went through on this on the bandwidth test and I looked at the fine lines down here 
and I changed the coils, the peaking coils, because I have the wires sticking out where I can just stick new ones in. And I didn't see much of a difference at all between a straight wire and the .56 and the 5.6 that I got from my electronics store. So I'm just going to put the 5.6 from my electronics store in there. I'm not seeing any difference. And you can see how I just have the 5.6 laying in there. I also tried the factory one out of my GE set and it looks the same. I can't see a difference. So I don't know. Now the next test I want to do is, let me show you. I'm trying to figure out why there's no snow. You know, when, when there's no signal it should be, you know, static and snow and it just goes to a blank raster. You can see I'm driving right now into the IF and I'm on the 45 megahertz on this. Um, so when I turn this all the way down it just goes to a blank raster. It never goes to snow. And my GE doesn't do that. My GE goes to snow. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to figure out if it's the tuner. I already checked the AGC voltage. It's fine. I'm going to put this, just crank this up right to a minimum. Like you could just barely see it with this at the minimum and then that is where it starts to show up. So what I'm going to do is uh, try my GE and see see how the sensitive the IF input is versus this set so I can try and isolate this down from between the tuner and the IF. Alright here's my GE and I would have to say oh my is it in the IF because look at how strong that is. And that's all the way down and it's still a solid picture on this one. And you can see it with, with everything at minimum here. This is at minimum, this is at minimum. You can still kind of see the circle there. So, my GE's not uh, showing snow either. I thought it always did. Okay, yeah, it is showing snow. I had to disconnect the, I had to disconnect this off the tuner. It was loading it down, but yeah, it does. it is showing snow so the other one definitely has lack of gain in the IF it could be alignment it could be something else back onto the hot point it's interesting that the hot point I need 500 millivolts to get the same 500 millivolts into the IF to get the same picture I get with 50 millivolts into the GE. There's something seriously lacking uh, in this. Okay, this is with the 1N60P out and the original germanium diode still in there that measured open, but we had some thoughts that maybe the voltage wasn't high enough on the meter. It's definitely bad. I got this up at max and there's nothing. So I'm going to try a 1N60 germanium now see if the sensitivity gets any better. Well I gotta say I put a 1 in, one in 60 germanium diode in there and it is slightly more sensitive uh, with that diode rather than the 1 in 60p shot key. I'd rather use the shot key because it'll never go bad but uh, I would have to say this is slightly more sensitive. It also looks more noisy too. But um, I think I'm going to have to roll with this for right now and we'll take a look at it. Hey guys, here we go. Top seven answers on the board. Name something that would be very bad for Santa to lose. Latrice. His reindeer. His reindeer. His bag. bag His toy. bag. Okay, this is the um, hot point, and I kind of lost track on where this is, but it's ready to go back. It's been here. It's been here 
couple months and it's been working fairly well so uh, it's ready to go home so I, I know I have a part of this video that's unreleased uh, I'll go ahead and tack this on the end of it and um, we did a bunch of work to this cleaned up the capacitors uh, pot a contrast pot a couple tubes uh, an open peaking coil which was pretty hard to find the right replacement for an open detector diode and I think there were a couple other things but I'm not quite sure what they were so anyway um, it's ready to go home so here it comes Boy, I'll tell you, the questions they ask on this show have been uh, have been dropped to match the sliding IQ of the country. What's 